What's up guys, it's Catrice Productions 72 and welcome to review of 75243 Swave 1 25th Anniversary Edition ages 10 and up and in the United Kingdom review where I am retails for £110 so as usual if you follow the channel my boxes don't have the piece count because of the country that I stay in. I apologise for any and all background noises because there's absolutely only two making noises. <laughs> But yeah, so for four many figures that obviously go with the set, and then you have the special 20th anniversary edition Princess Leia. There's a lot in this set that makes it very desirable. Well, according to the box, it's five, well, it's six, if you include Princess Leia, these four. And I don't know if you guys could see it, I should probably prop it up here, but you have the hand saw and carbonite brick, which is quite slight controversial with this set, but I'll get into that soon. So. With this set, you do get this first minifigure, you get Han Solo, so it's not the same as the one in the UCS Falcon or Cloud City. Now, Cloud City did have the dual molded legs with the black printing for the boots, and the UCS Falcon had the Reaver thing for when they're inside the Exo, Exo Dwarf. That's a technical name for that slug thing. <laughs> but yeah, so you get the nice new um, hair piece, which has been around for a couple of years. You get the tor same torsos in those sets, I think. And the legs are I think these legs are the same as the one in the UCS Falcon, but you know, you can correct me. It's got this sort of happy face expression. And I think the neck... And you get that one there. I'm unable to twist this. I've had this set for nearly a month, but I've... All these many figures have just sat in a bag since I did the whole video. But yeah, I had a technical difficulty where I dropped it here. Um, you just get a regular pistol, which thank God there's no stunt shooters. Um, and you get just the regular printing on the back. Um, as far as I'm aware, only two of the minifigures in this set, well, two including the Carmenite piece, are returning. I think the rest are unique. Obviously, Princess Leia and Zuckus are. Um, the Boba Fett, I think, is a returning minifigure, along with Forlom, because he was in the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack like two years ago. But yeah, time to show Boba Fett. So, Boba Fett, pretty simple. So it's the, well, that's not, but it's got this new gun piece that I have not seen on the Boba Fett. I don't know if it's in the Cloud City. I don't own Cloud City. And it's got this nice cloth piece. No arm printing like in the UCS slave one. Um, even though the set is sort of like a miniature slave, UCS slave one. Um, yeah, there's um jetpack. There's a the printing underneath the jetpack as usual. The torso which is filled with detail. So are the legs. Even got the little bits on his boots. This is amazing, this minifigure. Um, got an angry clone head, and that's about that. But yeah, next is Forlom. Um, yeah, basically the same as in the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack from last year. I'm not gonna go into great detail of this minifig. He was recently on my series figure Friday, so you can just check him out there. Only difference between this one and the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack, the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack, is he has a rifle instead of a stud shooter. But yeah. Now this is, this minifigure and Princess Leia are probably the biggest minifigs in this set, at least in terms of buying. Yep. If you're just wanting it for minifigs, although I really wanted the Slave one. <laughs> Zuckus, so I think we finally now have all the bounty hunters that are on the Super Star Destroyer bridge in Empire Strikes Back. I think Zuckus was the only one we didn't have, but yeah, he's got a similar gun to Boba Fett, only with a binocular piece and it's in grey. Really nice printing, it's got one of these new sort of things to represent like a skirt or a cloak or whatever. Um, yeah, unique head mode, really, really nice. The next one, definitely I'm not going to show much detail, so this is the carbonite brick we've had since 2010. And now here's the controversial part. They, they do all this stuff, all the unique modes, look at his head, they do Princess Wear and all that. But then they just leave this the same way it has been for nearly a decade. I mean, some people bother by it personally, I'm not. But you can understand some people would be annoyed at this. And just like before, you can put him in the back by putting his hands on the clip pieces. And there's also a place for guns on this ship, which is quite cool, so you can store his pistol. The last and probably the coolest minifigure you get in this, isn't it? At least in my opinion, it's the 20th anniversary of Princess Leia. So this one's from the 2000s, the first ever Millennium Falcon set. Really, really nice minifigure, I've got the stand. Like Star Wars 1999 to 2019, Princess Leia. Got it 
got the printing on the back, it's got the extra brick so you can attach it to the other mini figs. It, they look okay by themselves, but they look even better when you attach them. And I have personally have these three, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all the mini figs and start showing off what this thing can do. So I have to zoom out for that. So yeah, I zoomed. Better get rid of the carbonate brick. In fact, no, I'll need that. <laughs> so it's a really nice model. It is pretty big. Um, it's a bit heavy if you hold it from here. There is an integrated handle on the back, which takes away from the look of the back, but, you know, it's there for functionality. Um, so the first feature is it, it's it here, it's all rounded off with these nice pieces. This piece flicks up like so, and closes by itself, because I'm doing a review, it wants to annoy me. So you can put the hand tool in carbonate, slide it in there, and shut that, and you wouldn't know it's there. Over... Oh, here it does have these, I'll try and turn it this way to show you, it has these, but they do it independently which is sort of annoying, but I think I prefer the ones on the older slave ones because they would, you know, turn with each other instead of having to do it like this. Um, on the top it does have spring loaded shooters which I will fire. It didn't even fire, I put my... Which basically gives me a thing to remove from the... Yeah, I broke my refuse to do. <laughs> Gives me a thing I want to remove because, well, do you guys know I hate stud shooters? And I hate the spring loaded shooters. They're all terrible. Um, coming round to the side of the ship, you know, you've got some really nice rebound here. Um, I keep breaking, that's not part of the set, that's part of what I film on. Um, got really nice detail in the wings. Um, got these weird orange pieces, which everyone says is not on the UCS set, which is true. So why are they on this? I don't know, but I think I like the inclusion of Slint Orange. All oh, this area is sort of rounded off nicely. Like lots of grill pieces. Now there is lots of stickers on the set. Those are stickers. That's a sticker. That is a printed brick in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah. So here's the front. We have the cockpit lifts up. One big piece. Take that off. And let's give people a in. Okay, so Boba Fett is now in the others. Some stickers, I don't know if you guys can see them, there are sticker control panels. Um, but yeah, this set is filled with stickers. I don't think there's any printed pieces, but yeah, Boba Fett sits in. There's only room for him. He can't, there's only like a seating area for him. It's not like the Jango Fett slave one where you can fit like two many figures in or anything. But yeah, more stickers, and that's really all the detail. It's the same on both sides for the creeping. Um, so if I turn it around this way. You come across two features, one, this area here where I can, you know, put a blaster, like so. So yeah, now, I'm having a bit difficulty showing it because of how much I have to play around with the camera. Um, but yeah, they have this handle here which you can hold like this, and you know, you can move it around like this. Very, very swishable. Um, the wing pieces do do that when you... Um, like the thing with the gravity that all the other scrape ones do. Now you can hold it from here, but it is at risk of breaking. See, like these panels just fall off. I also should mention there is stickers there on the front. Like that's two separate stickers. So now the set's out of the way. I'll show you the instructions. Very heavy. So the box art is the same as the box art, only doesn't show the many figures. It doesn't show Princess Leia on the front. Um. Yeah, it's got all like that sort of 70s, sort of kind of toy style packaging. So there's a total of 259 steps. <laughs> Putting hand soil on carbonated even a step. Which I think is pretty funny. Um, obviously that is 252 pages. And there's a lot of sub steps. Like, there's a couple here for building a stand and stuff. But yeah, really, really cool um, instruction book. Quite very heavy. Well, it's not heavy, but it's very bulky. The box, I'm going to have difficulty showing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now, the box shows you Princess Leia, 2000 collectible minifigure. Technically, Lego Star Wars now has CMFs, but they're not official. Um, you've got the minifigures Boba Fett, 4 Lom, Zuckus, Han Solo, Han Solo and Carbonite. 20th anniversary logo is up the top. I'm going to take the, the camera out of the holder to try and show this better. But, yeah, you got the... 20th anniversary logo, Princess Leia, got all the minifigures that come in this set. I'm going to flip it over and show you the other side. My favourite side of the box has to be the side, I like how it shows you 
all the 20th anniversary minifigures got the original squeeze one from 1999. The instructions will show you all that stuff as well, as well as what the box shows you. As all the features I showed you, the flip frame missiles, the lantern carbonate, the lantern, and the rotatable wings. But yeah. So yeah, this is... <laughs> whoops. This is the end of the review. So if you enjoyed the review, um, obviously like the video and subscribe or whatever. Um, my personal opinion, this is the best out of the 520th anniversary Squave one. Not out of the 520th anniversary Squave one. Blech. Out of the 520th anniversary sets, I so far own the dropship, the pod racer, and this one. The other two I've not bought yet. I don't know if I want them or not. But as it stands, sorry one. As it stands, this is my favourite, and I think this one will definitely gain some value. I don't think they'll sell the 20th anniversary sets after this year. And considering this one's this 20th anniversary from my Mythic Princess Leia is the most expensive one of the sets. I could see her going up in value slightly because this not everybody can afford this set. And the Zuckus Minifigure, I don't want her get him again. But yeah, so I give the set 10 out of 10. Amazing build. Has a really solid minifigure selection. The only one I would could have really asked for was Orlando instead of Vorlon. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.